I think a picture is worth a thousand um, words here. When I was looking at your problem before, remember I, I didn't have your original numbers. Now, uh, I'm assuming that either these are your numbers uh, from the example, um, because remember that sometimes Connect uh, uses algorithmic properties to, to change the numbers. And so I, I kind of need all the original data. And uh, the picture you sent before was great, but it did not include uh, this original data. So it was hard for me to go all the way back from the beginning. I could only tell you um, in general terms. Okay, But this is what you need to do when you see a table like this. Now, I use Excel. Maybe you're an Excel user, maybe you're not. You know that's okay, uh, but you if you're using your calculator, you still need to take the time to organize, do subtotals. Now you may be doing that. I, I don't know. Okay, but um, because I, I couldn't see the the work. Okay, and, and I mentioned that, but. Um, I wasn't sure if you were doing that or not. I don't think you said. But um, anyway, okay. So what we need to do is we need to have subtotals over here on the side. Now I'm going to change to a different um, worksheet in Excel where I've already done some of this. Oops. Okay, now in the problem, they used the keyword and. They were looking for the probability of two things. And and implies intersection or joint probability. Okay, so they were looking for people who fell into the excellent category um, and also and fell into this above average uh, category. Okay, so they're looking for this joint probability. Well, our formulas say that joint probability is the product we multiply together the individual probability of one event times the conditional probability of the other event. So the way they express it in the book is the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B given A. I know, I know. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, now what this kind of boils down to, if I look across this particular row, then I would say the probability of somebody being right here, 135, because this is where they kind of intersect, but above average, this uh, using the empirical approach, that particular probability could be calculated as 135 divided by 300. Now, uh, I have to look at the solution because uh, I think what you might be saying is that they're, the answer is right, but there's an error in the way they're expressing the solution, and, and that could very well be true, okay? But 135 times, or I'm sorry, divided by 300. Now, I've done that here, okay? You see equals 135 divided by 300, and that would give me 0.45. But there's another piece, because remember, we have to multiply the product of these two different probabilities. So the next probability that we want to look at is all of those who fell into the above category divided by the grand total. So at first, we looked at only the aboves that were excellent divided by all the aboves. Now we're going to say um, all of the aboves divided by the grand total. Okay. 300 divided by 500. So that gives you 0.6. Now that you have your two individual probabilities, we would call this a, a marginal probability, okay, and then your conditional probability. The condition is that they have to be in the above category and in the excellent uh, category, okay. But when I multiply these two values, my first probability times my second probability, what ends up happening is the 500 here is going to cancel, or I'm sorry, the 300 here is going to cancel out. So the way a lot of people look at this is they'll say, oh, then it's simply 135 divided by 500. Okay, but even if I multiply my two products together, I would come up with, and that, that's what that is, is I'm multiplying those two things together, then I get the correct answer there, uh, 0.27. But as I said, I could have said 135 divided by 500. Okay, and some people tend to, to look at that. Uh, sometimes the way my mind looks at it is the anding factor means that they run into each other at that 300, so I don't have to use that, 135 divided by 500. I hope this helps. I know this can be a little bit tricky. Now, do look at my slides, the, um, uh oh, didn't make my window big enough, my uh, chapter five 